standard time. Come on, man. See, I'm trying to get everybody's chat here. Dum, da dum, dum. Been going crazy with my phone today, guys. It's crazy. Let's see. Wait, I'm checking Bart's phone out over here. Hey, Phil, how you doing? It's Dr. Phil. <laughs> No, I don't think he wants to be Dr. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me see. I'm trying to fix Bart's phone over here. Trying to get it regulated. See what he's doing. Dun. Ah, I almost had it. Hold on, Phil. This thing has given me so much problem today, and I got new glasses, and I think they measured the bifocals wrong, and boy, does it suck. <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? I'm trying to read it with my, uh, my new glasses there. I think they screwed them up. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, we're going to try to have some fun here tonight. I'm trying to wait till a few more people get in so I can make a few announcements. But I'm glad to see you guys here. I'm going to have to keep playing with this stupid chat button again. <laughs> I just can't believe this. Lord have mercy. Okay, guys, I know you're chatting in there somewhere. Let's see. Uh, all my uh, chats should be visible. Hey, there you are, Phil. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm telling you. And they were awesome. This time, because of the big V and everything else, you could you you could go in there to pick up your glasses, but nobody was like adjusting them for you. So I'm not sure where my eyeballs are anymore. If it's for farsightedness or for reading, but we're getting there. Oh goodness, I'm telling you. So what has everybody been up to? Y'all quarantining yourself still? Or are you wearing masks to go to the store or what? I'm going to pull you up a little closer here so I can read this with these bifocals. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Uh, can't get Bart's phone to work right. See, it shows yours nice and clear. Mine, it doesn't. I don't know why. That's okay. Who do I have in here? Let's see. I can't even see, believe it or not. That's, that's funny. All right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, guys, but I'm still here. Yeah, that's why, Phil, because your border is closed. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, there's so many people. I don't I don't see how they're going to open up the schools here. I really don't. Because being how many kids I've raised, I mean, when kids, especially kids under like six or something, 
they they're gonna pull that mask off their face and you know they're gonna get away from them partitions they have planned and all that that's not gonna work and they're gonna go home and just give it to the family and the family's gonna go to work and they're gonna give it to somebody and I don't see how it's gonna go but anyway I don't want to talk about that I don't want to bore you guys I want to ask you, though, to give some prayers to my brother. Um, he went to the ER today, and um, he's 65, and they said they think he has shingles, but it don't look like it to me. He, his eye is all swollen, almost shut, and his head looks misshapen in the front on the forehead, and that just don't seem right. Hey, traveling down the banisters. Yes, you're going to raid me. You guys are awesome. Yes. Guys, whoever is in here, make sure you got each other. If you don't, go over there and check out their channel. Subscribe to them. You never know unless you watch a few videos, really. So, yeah, that's awesome. I just love traveling down the banisters. They're always doing stuff for me. Yes, Phil, God is in control. That's for sure. I don't know what I would have did with him. Without him, I'm telling you. I really don't. But uh, we got uh, actually a couple of new friends here for you guys. We got RV Lamb Shop. She don't talk yet because I can't remember how to do my voice like I used to for the kids when they were babies. But I do have the screaming goat. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, I need to go camping. I need a vacation. If I could afford it, I would go take one, believe me. So who hi to everybody. If I miss you, it's only because my new glasses have deceived me. <laughs> hey, our destinations, how you doing? Where's all yours, Bert? You can't oh. see it. It's going crazy. <laughs> Bert's phone's down here. I'm trying to see if I can see better off his, but it's not working either. So, but anyway. We haven't done too much. We went to try to do a video for you guys this week, but um, it seems like everything is still shut or the hours are different than what they normally are, and it's really crazy. And then, of course, Walmart and everybody else, they started where they're regulating it. You have to wear masks, which I think is good. I really do with the amount that Florida has and everything. Um, let's see, all the doggies are doing quite well, and, uh, we tried to get you a video of our horses, and we're going to do that for you guys this coming week. It has been so hot that Bert was out there riding my horse yesterday, and, um, I was trying to videotape, and the humidity was so bad that... It was foggy on the on the the phone, and I couldn't even really make it out. So I didn't want to give you guys that bad quality. Uh, it also happened at my daughter's graduation. My youngest daughter graduated, uh, and they did their graduation last Friday, and it was packed. And we tried to film some of it, and still couldn't do it. But we did notice there was somebody up there by the stage. And they are filming it, so I guess we get a DVD from them or whatever, which works out fine for me. So, let me show you. All right. RV Lamb Chop here wants to show you that this is one of the grab bags for next week. We're going to do eight giveaways next week. Okay. Let's see. Darn it. Uh, okay, Camping Therapy, welcome to my stream, 
Everybody else, welcome to my stream. If I haven't acknowledged you, it's because I'm learning to use my new bifocal glasses. <laughs> but anyways, so next week, next Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But let me tell you my live streams. I'm on Eastern Standard Time, and it tries to... It does put Pacific time for some reason, and I've tried to change that, and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. So if you see another time on our live stream, it's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If it happens that it does have to change, I'll make a video or a post or something and let you know. Okay, so next week we're doing the eight giveaways at the eight grab bag giveaways. And um, we're going to try to do different type of giveaways with grab bags. So we'll see how that works out. Hey, Pete. And uh, maybe we can get RV Lamb Chop to say a few words next week, too. We'll try. <laughs> what you up to, Pete? I'm trying to get all you guys, if you don't know each other, to go to your each other's channels and check them out. Yep. I am trying so hard to make my hours and my watch hours. I don't know how people do it, I swear. I mean, people watch my videos, uh, but I guess I just came in when they started that 4,000 hour thing. You don't realize how long it takes to get 4,000 hours worth of minutes, but it takes a while. But um, I have a few people that are going to play this partner with me. I don't mind at all watching their videos all night long. Um, you know, just eight hours straight or whatever, uh, if they'll do it for me. And... Um, I'm trying to think what else I have, what else news I have for you. Rocky, you know, went to the vet and uh, his ear infection seems to be doing a lot better. But um, I don't know. He's still having trouble with his booty. I don't know what's going on with that. I really don't. They have done so much stuff to him. And um, I'm wondering... You know, we watched Molly and Mike for a long time, and I love that program. And in one episode, Molly was babysitting the dog, well, dog sitting the dog, and he ate one of her tampons or something. And she rushed him to the vet, and it was stuck. And he had, he was doing the same thing that Rocky is doing, is scooting on the carpet, but he does it on our hardwood floors and on our porch. But we've had his gland squeezed three times. I mean, I just don't know, you know, unless he's got something that he, because I always buy him the rough toys and I buy the little guys the soft toys because he'll tear up the toys in a matter of seconds. And I did buy him some toys with them little prickly things on them. And I think he was pulling them off. He may have swallowed one, you know, so we're getting ready to take him back and we'll see what happens. Are you spinning in orbit? I hope not. It doesn't look like I'm spinning here, but Bert is spinning down here. I don't know why. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It may be inside and he might need surgery. I hope not. Goodness gracious. Am I still spinning, guys? The American Wanderer, how are you? Phil, I'm not sure. I'm, I still see myself up here. I don't know what's going on. I see the minutes ticking. So I don't know. Maybe it's your phone this time. Ah! <laughs> Better yours than mine. It's from down under. <laughs> Phil, you got me back. 
Should have. Oh, dear Phil. Where'd you go? There you are. Why does this thing keep doing that? Oh, it makes me mad. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. I'm asking today for donations to get a laptop. I'm tired of this. <laughs> No. What? Yeah, it keeps really going on and off. I mean, I'm still here. I'm not, you know, it's not showing like I got cut off and stuff, but the chats are not here and I'm not, I can't figure out why not. If I hit the chat button, it asks me and then I hit live chats and sometimes I get you and sometimes I, oh, we're your favorite. You're our Ours too. We love all you guys. Who's Phil? Phil is um and you know who Phil is. Beat him, Lamb Chop. <laughs> Lamb Chop just Here's beat him up. Here's some more. I love you and the old man. I hope you're good. He's over here. He had his, his ears lowered the other day. So he has another Chia Pet haircut. <laughs> took the weed eater. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need to do to give him a haircut. Use the weed eater. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to be upbeat and everything. Uh, I was just telling some of the other people. My brother went to the hospital today. But um, I know he, I tell him, scoot over here and get in the camera so they can see your Chia Pet. You know, he needs to scoot over here. They want to see you too, not just me. Take a picture and put it in front here. No, you have to scoot your little booty over. Yeah, Whoa. there he is, the Chia Pet Man. Somebody, <laughs> somebody cut my hair. He told me. He told me this morning. He said, you know, he has a nice little old man that that said, I think they're gonna cut one side shorter than another. <laughs> I said, oh, my goodness, find wrong, me. He used the wrong setting. <laughs> Can't therapy, am I still blurry? Ha, no. <laughs> ha, Susie. That's what I said. The guy who cut his hair is like, what, 80? Mm -hmm. He's about 80 years old. 80 to dead. 80 to dead, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a nice guy. Let's see. Okay, Camping Therapy, thank you for stopping by, hon. We'll talk to you later. It's crazy. <clears throat> but anyway, the, the barber, he likes the barber because the barber does the, the short kind of navy haircut like, you know, he's used to. And, um, you know, but anyways... Just y'all make sure that you come next week, really, because we're going to do this so simple. It's going to be just like last time we had a giveaway. We're going to have Bert pick a number and I'll read the number. Whoever comes closest to them or I'll, Bert will pick the number. I got to figure out how to do that, that automatic stuff. I know it's easier and stuff, but, you know, anyway, so. Uh, he'll pick a number, and I'll tell you which between what, you know, like between 1 and 50 or whatever. Whoever gets the number will win the first bag, and then we'll go on to the second bag, etc. And I'm going to try to give away all eight bags next week. Then we're going to make up another giveaway, because I really enjoy doing them. I think they're fun, and and it's like, I don't know. I like giving things to people. But um, I hope I'm not spinning on you guys. I hope mm -hmm. everything's going good. <laughs> Whoever has not seen Box Van D, her channel is awesome. And she does some awesome lives. So y'all need to check her out when she's on. Go check out her channel. Tell her that RV Butterfly sent you over there. She is awesome. 
that's her and also um let's see blue wave odyssey i know some of you know him uh he's awesome let's see i'm thinking there's so many i, I have in my head uh oh what's her name what's her name simply arlene she's awesome there's so many awesome channels there is Plain Vanilla Grandma, she is so funny. You have got to go watch her. She's an awesome lady. She's doing a lot of different things on her channel, but she's great. Who else we watch? We watch so many. Tree we Trimmer. Oh, the Tree Trimmer. Tree Trimmer has a new channel now where he's cooking and he's making some good stuff. If y'all like cooking, go check him out. Uh, I'm trying to think who else, who else? Mm. Oh Lord. Running down the road. Traveling down the banister. Mm. I know y'all know them and yeah, they're awesome. Uh endless RVing. All right, I'm thinking here. Yeah. I like to shout out people. I really do. Um I think that we all need to, you know, I know there's a lot of people still stuck at home in quarantine. And basically, we are too. I mean, we run out, we get a cup of coffee in the drive-thru in the morning, then usually come home. Uh, work around here or take the horses out. It's just been so hot, like I said, that taking out the horses, I feel more sorry for them than I do for us. I mean, it's really, really hot. So I'll probably wait until it's cooler till I ride for any length of time. But, uh, and we're also looking for a new RV. <clears throat> we're trying to find a used one that is either a B class C with slides or a class A. I really, really love the bounders. And, um, Everything is just so expensive. I mean, every a lot of people have thought about RVing now that it's that this big B came, and they're selling RVs. I'm telling you, they are selling RVs, used, new, you know. And we can't afford new; we just can't. And I know we can't, so um, we just look for the used ones. But everybody else is too at this point, so you know it's hard. But I can't wait to get out camping again. I just, I want to have one by October so we can go to the meetup with Blue Wave and, uh, oh, Hippie, Nomadic Hippie. You got to watch him too. He's awesome. And his cat is a trip. He's a trip. Um, I had to slip that in there, guys. Well, I'm trying to find your, your chat things. Well, there's some of them. Let's see. I have no idea. Susie, you still there? I don't know what this thing is doing. Well, I'm still here, regardless. Yeah. We're not spinning here, so... Well, Bert's phone is spinning, but his phone always spins. <laughs> but anyway... Keep watching for new videos because we are going to try our best to find some places that are open that's interesting that we can show you. Um, if nothing else, we will be on. We will go. We'll do something. Um, I know a lot of people, like I said, are at home and uh, TV gets old after a while. I'm telling you. I, I mean, I love my court programs like Judge Judy and paternity court and all that but man i'm telling you even now i'm getting bored with that it's just like watching it watching it you know you're afraid to go anywhere and when you do go people most people they don't think that this is serious you know but anyways let's not talk about that so you ask us some questions see if i can get your your question up here on my screen what have y'all been doing? Uh, 
Okay, am I still on? I think I am. It's still ticking. It's giving me how many minutes I've been on. So what do you think of RV Lamb Chop here? She's a, uh, she's a riot. She is a riot. Let me tell you, I used to watch Lamb Chop with Sherry. What was her name? Sherry something. And um, this is actually a doll or a puppet. It's actually a puppet from 1990. Yeah, from the Sherry Lewis. That's it, Sherry Lewis show. RV Lamb Chop. Oh my goodness. Let's see. 91. So 1991, she was born. So 30 years mm -hmm. for the old part too. <laughs> ah. Phil, I'm so glad y'all have no stuff out there. You can go do what you want. So what have you been doing lately? Phil, can you hear me, Phil? <laughs> yeah, see, I grew up with Lamb Chop, too. I did. I, I My mom used to love Sherry Lewis. She used to love Sherry Lewis, boy. And uh, so I've had a little Lamb Chop here. And she's, uh, she's like brand new, actually. I can't believe it. Where have you been going, Phil? We had a, a lady who does RV videos, and she went to uh, New Zealand. Uh, I don't know if you've seen her. Uh, Carolyn's RV Life, I think her name is. And she did a nice, she did a, she was doing some kind of a, a hike. And then she went to New Zealand and it was pretty interesting. And I love the stuff that you sent me. I just mm. love that stuff. I mean, those key chains and everything are just so awesome. They really are. And the postcards, oh my God, I've been showing them to everybody. <laughs> Send me a live keyboard. A live keyboard. Hush, <laughs> <Hush>, guys. <laughs> no. yeah. They only bark when I'm online, you know that. No, not true. <laughs> but it's usually the little Damn. ones that bark. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, your birthday is coming, Phil. Awesome. Are you, how old are you going to be? 39? 39 again. 39 again. I'm 39 and holding all the time. <laughs> you can't hold much longer. No, I can't. <laughs> uh, oh, awesome, Phil. We love them. I'm putting them in a scrapbook. Yep. Tell them to send me a live kiwi. Oh, Bert said send them a live kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the post office, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, I'm telling you. But anyway, we are going to try to get up some, some good videos for you guys. And um, as usual, we try our best. And... Uh, I'm trying to think what else. What else can we do? We're going to keep doing our lives. Uh, hopefully with the V will go away shortly and we can do even more fun uh, things because we have went somewhere to talk about. Uh, today, my ex-daughter-in-law, who was married to my oldest son, called me because she broke down down the road and I went up there to help her and people go your ex-daughter-in-law yes my ex-daughter-in-law we're all still good friends it's awesome but they were real young when they got married and it was a funny story because 
I always worked. I think I told you guys, I've worked since I was 13 years old and I went to school and um, well, he met this young lady and I really liked her. But I told both of them they needed to wait because she was like 16, he was 18. They were gung ho, they wanted to go get married. So I was at work one day and the girl's grandmother who had raised her took these kids to South Carolina to get married behind my back. Rest her soul. I know she did it because she got tired of hearing the girl. <laughs> but they came back in town because it wasn't that far. Oh, probably two hour drive, maybe. They came back in town, stopped by where I worked and told me they were married. And I was, uh, I, I don't even remember. I mean, I think I, I was like, how, why, what, who, who? <laughs> But they ended up having my granddaughter. And uh, of course, a little while later, they got divorced. But they're both happy now with their respective spouses and everything had worked out great. But um, we all think when we're young that we just know everything and everything's going to be perfect for us. And it doesn't always happen that way. But um, I am going to be another grandma. Yep. My youngest daughter, who graduated Friday, just let me be known not long ago that she's expecting. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping for a little girl, of course. We will see. She's hoping for a little girl, but we'll take what God gives us. She's going to have <laughs> You're going to have triplets. <laughs> oh, gosh. I sure hope not. But I met the, the baby's father the other day, and I said, oh, boy, he's not a bad kid at all. He's a nice kid. He wants to work. He's working. You know, he's happy about the baby. But he's only 19, and he, he is a young boy. And I have a hunch that... <laughs> When he hears that baby screaming, that's when realization is going to hit him. <laughs> but he's a sweet kid. And, How many kids uh, is she going to have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to squeeze the goat on that one. But, um, yeah, and as a matter of fact, my uh, ex-daughter-in-law, she, um, well, thank you, Phil. She uh, she even got a bit, a car seat for the baby already. My cousin's making a blanket for the baby already, and uh, my ex daughter in law also had a high chair for her baby, so she's doing pretty good. Uh, depending on what she has, everybody said they have clothes because their babies outgrew them now, so that's awesome too. But uh, she has her own place. She's always worked since she was old enough to do so. And um, she's a smart girl. She is. But, you know, what happens sometimes, you know, you're young, like I said, and you make decisions and or you don't make decisions. Right. And uh, so we're all just hoping for the best and we hope it all works out great for all of them. But um yeah, this will be my newest grandbaby. Hey, there he is. She a pet. Hey, I woke up again. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, you did. You woke up. That's good. Sometimes I have to smack him and whack him to it. <laughs> Wake up, sucker. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. I, I hope you do send me some more postcards, Phil. That would be awesome. Yeah, I wish I could go to New Zealand one time, see what it's like. It's a long swim. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, we got eight people in the chat. That's awesome. I know it ain't that much, but I, I love and appreciate everybody who comes in my chats. I really do. 
I really do. Because sometimes we don't know what to talk about, so we just ramble on. Yeah. And we tell you things that are going on in our life, you know. So, Especially now. I mean, we can't really get inside anywhere except Walmart. And I don't think you want to watch us go shopping in our mask. <laughs> but, I got a, I got a drug for you. Uh-oh. What do you call a bear with a mask? <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. So does anybody know what you call a bear without teeth? A gummy bear? <laughs> a gummy bear. Yeah. Who said that? Like me, a gummy bear. <laughs> hey, I noticed Jerry Holly's on after we... uh. After my live stream, y'all need to go and, and visit his live stream when he comes on. He also has a great karaoke. Oh, excuse me. Oh, a great karaoke live stream on Sunday night. Yeah. I told my daughter-in-law to go over there and check him out because that girl can sing like a bird. That's one thing about her. <laughs> She really can. She is so good at singing. Lester all medicine. <laughs> she sings like a bird. What kind of bird? <laughs> I'm like a bird. Her and I used to sing when I was young. Yep, we used to sing on the porch with a, a karaoke uh, box. And she has her own little karaoke now. And yeah, she she really sings good. What she did, actually, to uh, learn how to sing that well, it's her grandparents who raised her. They took her to church every Sunday, and she got to where she was in the choir, and then they started letting her do solos. And I'm telling you, the girl can sing. If she would have had the right backing, she probably would be who knows where by now. But that happens sometimes. But she is very Christian, and she loves the Lord, so she um, she does a lot of hymns and singing for him. So that's good. Yeah, you know, when you're young, you, you just, I guess we all think we're just never going to get old. And it's amazing. I tell my kids now, you know, mm -hmm. you have no idea how fast the years go. Yeah, we, it's really something, you know, it's just like with this big B thing. I mean, it's been since when? February already? And this is July, almost the end of July, really. And uh, before we know it, Christmas will be coming, holidays will be here. It, it's amazing how fast time goes by. It really is. But I'm 62, and I feel like I'm 30, so, you know, what can I say? <laughs> and Phil's laughing over here. <laughs> Gosh, I, guys, I mean it. I need to get me a laugh. I just, I can't believe that how, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, or if it's not I'm doing something wrong, then, you know, on my screen, there's a camera, then it says, there's like a little message tab, and when you hit it, it says, top chats, some messages, live chat, all messages are visible, that's the one I hit, and I don't see anybody's, now, once in a while, Phil's will pop in, but other than that, I don't know what happened. I'm trying, guys. I'm baby stepping it. <laughs> I'm doing the work. <laughs> it just ain't cooperating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Did you who did y'all watch our video where we had an alligator in our backyard? Actually, in our side yard, our dog's yard, actually. And our smallest dog is like two pounds. And I just happened to be sitting here looking out the window. And I, my eyes thought they were playing tricks on me. I really thought my eyes were gone or something. And when I seen that, and I told Bert, he had his 
uh, earphones on. So, I mean, he didn't even, he was like, what? <laughs> Go watch the video if you haven't watched it. I mean, <laughs> I've been living here for three years and I've never seen an alligator anywhere near my house. So, mm, that was a big surprise, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I went to go mow the lawn on my, <laughs> I was afraid that something was going to jump out like the mama, <laughs> but this baby alligator, I thought it was a baby. The man who came to catch it for us, he said it was a year old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said it was a year old. It was like two, two and a half foot long. Yeah, I'm telling you. It was, it was, I mean, we're in Southeast Georgia. So, yeah, I know there's some gators here. We're pretty close to Okefenokee Wildlife Park, but uh, not that close. And uh, I lived in Northeast Florida for, gosh, I raised my kids there. I was born in Chicago, so I never knew anything about no gators. But, uh, even where I was in Northeast Florida, m me or my kids never seen a gator there. Now my son, one of them, he's a surfer. He's a very avid surfer. And he, um, he has been up close and personal with a few sharks but, uh, and some jellyfish, but never gators. And it, it just freaked me out. And then Bart was out there with the darn gator till the guy came, and Bart. I'm thinking, oh, my God, okay. you know. And I saw that gator open his mouth, and I saw all them teeth, and I was like, holy guacamole. So, yeah, I'll be watching for the gators now when I go look at the mail. <laughs> uh. Yeah, gators can climb. We were trying to figure out how they got in. It got in there. Because when my husband fenced the yard, we made him a real big yard. And I would say quarter acre, maybe. And uh, we double fenced the fence so that nothing, we thought, would get through that was big enough to at least eat the little dogs. But somehow it did. So that's what my son, my oldest boy said, he probably crawled the fence. <laughs> like, wonderful. You know, like, can he crawl up on my roof and jump in my chimney? <laughs> no, but I was wondering. You got a metal roof. Yeah, I know, but not in the chimney. I'm telling you. <laughs> so anyway, Bert thought I was joking. He didn't. He was like, nah, I think I don't think you've seen a gator. But when he went outside, he I, <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. Y'all go look at the video if you ain't seen it. It's funny. Well, it's funny now. It wasn't funny then. <laughs> and then the gator tried to bite the guy's foot. He kept trying to put the rope on him and the gator kept throwing it off. They're smart. They are totally smart. And we thought we had a cat around here, so we thought, that's great, we'll feed the cat. Well, I don't know what's, I don't think the cat is eating the cat food. I really don't, because usually cats, when they eat, they nibble, okay? Whatever's eating this cat food eats the whole dang bowl, okay? So either it's tremendously starved, or it's a raccoon or something else. I wouldn't be, I would not be the least bit surprised. But we do have, I noticed in September and October, we do have beautiful deers that come in the back in by our yard. They really come up close. I mean, I'll try to get some videos when they start coming. But um, they have babies sometimes and the babies are with them. It's pretty good. Uh, the only thing I can't stand about it here is the dang gnats. We, I was like, okay, I'm going to go sit on the porch because the gnats are in here. They're not outside. Yeah. 
that's how many gnats we had. I'm not kidding. And it's, I guess it's just opening, opening the door when we let the dogs out. I don't know. It's crazy. And I tried all the little YouTube remedies like, uh, what is that? Dawn dish soap in a plastic bottle with the top of cut off and put in upside down. And you put apple cider vinegar and Dawn dish detergent and a teaspoon of sugar. And you mix it up. Yeah, I caught some, but the rest of the damn things were still bugging me. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to watch the time here because I know Jerry Holly's going to come on and I would appreciate if y'all go over there and you um, you raid him for me if you don't mind. He's got a good channel going. Jurgen's Journey. If you haven't seen him, his channel is wonderful too. And he just lost his dog not long ago. I think last week. And that was a beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. I went through the same thing not that long ago with the same kind of dog, and it was heart-wrenching. But he does some really good photography and really good videos, so go check him out, too. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wind this up and check out my brother. I love all you guys. I wish we had more people in the stream. We possibly will next week with our giveaway. I hope so. And um, you guys, be safe out there. We love you. We enjoy giggling with you, laughing with you, talking with you. And we want you to have a good time. But just really, really be careful. Especially if you don't want to wear a mask or you have a problem wearing it. Just try to social distance about six feet. That's what I've been trying to do because sometimes I have trouble breathing. I have a little, not a lot, but a little bit of asthma. And when I have the mask on, sometimes I have to pull it down off my nose a minute and they say, well, you ain't doing much if you do that. But I have to do it so I make sure nobody's around or I walk the other way or whatever. But yeah, just be safe. We love you guys. God bless you. Have fun. Try to do, you know, get a hobby or something that you could do at home if you have to. Except for Phil, who's going to go traveling. Lucky dog. <laughs> we love you guys. Some Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to have our giveaway. Bye now. <laughs>